Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art and today we're going to be tackling um, a little bit more complicated of a um, object which is going to be a Wacom tablet. So um, go ahead and just create a cube and then we're going to go ahead and make this cube probably six, actually let's just do ten by five. All right, that should be good. And then um, let's do twice the amount of division, so 20 by 10. And then you can put two on the depth, so it's like that. All right, so since our height is five, let's go ahead and move y to 2.5 to move it on the ground. Next thing I wanna do is go ahead and map out basically just where the screen is. So let's take these faces on the front and then we'll offset them in a little bit and then push them down just a smidge into the mesh. That way we get kind of like a separated feeling from the border to the screen. So go ahead and extrude, Command E, and offset that guy in by probably like 0.25. And then extrude again and just drop your thickness down maybe to like negative 0.05. My screen's not that far in. All right, so next thing, let's go ahead and create some buttons. So for my Wacom tablet, I've got four buttons, then a smaller button, and then four more buttons. What I'm thinking I'll probably end up doing is I think I need another division. So let's go to object mode and do 25. So let's go ahead and grab the multi-cut tool. And then you wanna try and get even divisions just going down. You wanna try and get even divisions, so use your middle click to perfectly cut them halfway. All right, there we go. So now we've got some more divisions for us. Um, so let's go ahead and go into face mode, click Q, and then we're gonna turn these into buttons. So let's first just find our midpoint. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so it looks like that is our midway point. So select these two, and then on the other side, select the other two, and then extrude. Let's offset those in maybe like 0.1. Let's click R and then scale it down like that. And then extrude and offset in by 0.01. And then on each side, select that inner ring. And then just extrude and push that thickness in to negative 0.1. So now we've got our two little mid buttons. Next thing we wanna do is go ahead and make the other buttons. So grab two and then skip two. So grab two, skip two. And then same thing on this side, grab two and skip two. We'll add the other two in first. Remember you can't extrude right next to each other or it'll mess it up. So take those guys, extrude. Let's offset them in by 0.08. Then extrude again, and let's change that offset to 0.01. Then you're going to go to each one and select that outer ring. And then once we get all of these, we'll extrude them and push them into the mesh. That way we've got like a little hole for our button. All right, so extrude, push that thickness in to negative 0.1. All right, so now let's do the rest of the buttons. So let's go ahead and just select those faces we didn't grab last time. You should have four buttons on each side, so just make sure you've got that many. And then extrude. Offset in by 
then extrude again and offset in 5.01. Then you're gonna go around and grab those inner, inner faces. And then we'll do the exact same on the on these buttons, which is just extrude them and push them in negative 0.1. So now we've got all our buttons for our screens. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and make the buttons for the top. So this face and this face extrude, offset them in. 0.05, extrude, offset them in 0.01, then select that inner ring and extrude and thickness to negative 0.1, then select this guy and do the exact same. So offset to 0.05, then offset to 0.01, so select that ring and thickness to negative 0.1. So now I've got the buttons on the top and then over here we've got two really small buttons so you're gonna want to extrude and offset that in 2.1 then click R and scale it in and then extrude offset that in then select that inner ring and push that thickness down to negative Point one. Then you can do the same thing for the one right next to it. Offset to 0.01, select that ring, and drop that thickness down. All right, so now we seem to have got all of our buttons for the front. Um, let's go ahead and deal with the back next. So first, just select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Then go ahead and bevel it, control B. Go ahead and make your fraction like 0.6. Let's go ahead and make this stand. So create a cylinder, click R, and then scale it a bit to be more like that. And then go ahead and click E, rotate it. It's going to be connecting to this side and then you can go ahead and rotate it to look like that. Click R and scale it up a bit. And then I'm gonna push it that way. And then I'm actually gonna squish it in a bit too, more like that. Then you can go ahead and take this edge. Oh, first go ahead and duplicate that guy. And then just rotate that and connect him over here. Go ahead and take those guys and combine them. So mesh combine. Then take the edges on each of them. Let's take the edge on this guy and try and flatten him out as best we can. There we go. And let's do the same with this one. So just try and flatten him out. All right, and then go ahead and select your Wacom tablet and just tilt it back a bit on those stands. And then you can press W and press them into there. All right, there we go. So for the most part, 
that's most of our um, Wacom tablet. If you want, you can go through and bevel those sides. I don't think I will. I kind of look like how it looks now. Um, but you can do create, type, and then actually type in Wacom for the type and then find a text that is similar to that. Find a text similar to um, what they use. That's pretty close. And then you can scale that on down. And if you want, Wacom does um, put their, you know, logo in the middle of their screen. So you could press it into the middle like that. And let's tilt that guy so we use more into our mesh. There we go. All right, I think I'm gonna try and search a little bit more for a better font. Their A is really unique for their font, so most likely you won't be able to find it, but it's pretty close. All right, so I'm just gonna use this font. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So if you want, you can just assign that the normal, you know, color for our model. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to, you can go through and like add your little vent that's supposed to be on the back. Um, this is more of just like if you were to um, just like easily set it on someone's desk for like a scene. Um, this could be really easy to kind of show them. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys next time for when we're making, I think we're going to do like a keyboard or a mouse or something, something fun. We'll see. So I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.